A Republican presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson is with us this morning. Dr. Carson, reports are suggesting that terror groups may be waiting to strike until it gets closer to the election. Got to talk to you about both of these points. Number one, what should be done in terms of his family that they left? Should we believe that they didn't know anything about this? And now there's reports saying that let's wait to strike America again until we get a couple more weeks until the election. What do you think? Well, I do believe that there are many, many terror cells in our country. Uh, one of the things that impressed me when I was running was talking to some of the sheriffs down at the borders, and they were telling how many people are coming across that border who are not uh, Latinos. There are people who are coming from Sudan and, and Iraq and various places. Those people have infiltrated our society and are, are waiting to do uh, horrible things. But when I was practicing medicine, one of the things I always said in the laboratory or in the operating room, when something didn't work, I said, it's not a total failure if you learn from it. We need to learn from these situations. The father reported to the FBI that his son had become radicalized a couple of years ago. And we still didn't do anything about it. We need to say, what is the breakdown? What is the problem? And we need to fix it. We don't need to have a commission and talk about it for the next two years. We need to fix it right now. Dr. Carson, um, do you not think that this is an incredible situation here? This guy was searching for bomb materials on eBay. He was incredibly radicalized. He went to, to countries that are known to have links to terror. All of these things combined with the reports of the FBI. And by the way, we should give the father full credit. We're always saying members of the community need to help us and assist us. This guy's father actually was that standard up guy and yet with yeah. all of these with all of these signals coming down the FBI still didn't look yeah well I mean what does it take do you have to go out and say I'm a terrorist and I'm gonna kill everybody right now here are my weapons I what does it take for them to actually move and and this That's is what, what I'm talking about we love to talk about things and discuss them and have joint commissions but we've got to learn how to do things this this is one of the things that surgeons do you know surgeons you know sometimes are criticized because they say they just want to cut no they want to deal with the situation they don't want to endlessly sit around and talk about it right with precision uh, Dr. Right. Carl, I was just going to say though it's easy to say that as a surgeon don't you think because you're just in charge of yourself you're not in charge of a vast bureaucracy that is impossible to change and move uh, I wouldn't uh, necessarily agree with that. Some of the uh, surgical procedures are extraordinarily complex, involving dozens of people uh, moving simultaneously in the same direction, and that has to be coordinated by the primary surgeon. Uh, real quick, Dr. Carson, in terms of immigration, this goes back to immigration and, and, and what's missed at the border, doesn't it? Uh, obviously, the border is a huge issue. And, uh, you know, Here's the thing. A lot of the times we detain people at the border, and then ICE comes along and says, no, you must release them. And they tell the sheriffs, you can't even warn the people around you that you're releasing them into their community. It's almost like there are people in our government who actually are on the other side. So, you right. know, I don't want to think that. It feels that, that way sometimes. But, but sometimes it seems that way. We, we, the loss of common sense You're right. is uh, quite alarming. It, it sure is. Dr. Carson, always a, a pleasure to hear from you. Thank you so much for joining us, sir. Thank you, Mary. We'll see you soon. Dr. Ben Carson.